my people of God, welcome. Uh, may the Lord bless you as you watch this video. Um, this video is made under righteous attitude. So if you have a, a moment, um, just visit the website. It's righteousattitude.com. Um, again, it's righteousattitude.com. It's a website designed to help us apply the right attitude, which is the godly attitude toward our everyday challenges. All right. Um, and I want to take this moment to share um, a few words with you. Uh, thanks again for those who have subscribed. And if you have not already subscribed, go ahead and subscribe. We have more videos to come. Glory be to God in the highest. And remember to share this video with others because there are many people who are in, in a situation that they feel like they need the help. And I know God is able to help them. So don't keep this video to yourself. Just share it with somebody. That is a way you are evangelizing to someone too by sharing the video. So all the glory to God. And I want to take this moment to, um, to talk to you about fear. Okay. What we all know what fear is. It's definitely the biggest enemy. The biggest enemy to every soul is fear. Oh my God. It holds you back from being who are, who you are called to be. It holds you back from, from seeing your true identity. Fear is an enemy, you know? Um, I mean, to be honest with you, sometimes we, we have such, uh, 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 I would say, I'm sorry. Sometimes fear takes the grip. It grips our lives so tight that you don't even realize that you are living in fear. Okay. Um, I pray to God as you watch this video, like the spirit of the Lord will reveal to you everything being said today in Jesus name. Cause I do not just turn this camera on to speak of my own. I do. What can I do to help? Nothing unless the Lord guides me. I need guidance from his spirit to speak to you. And it's not just for you, but it's also for me to help me too. So like I said, we're going to talk about fear and what fear does to a spirit, to your spiritual being. It shuts you away from God. Uh, once fear kicks in, doubt take over, you know, and it begins to put you in a position. It begins to press you down in a position to where you are beginning to um, question the very existence of God. You know, that's what fear does. It takes you away from faith. You know, how can you please God without faith? You can't, you can't. So here you are, you know, wanting to do what is right. Here you are wanting to please God in your everyday life. But if fear is, if fear is, 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 um, a stronghold in your life, faith will not kick in. And that is the only way that you and I together, or you can please God, or I can please God, but it's just by faith. Remember what the Bible says, the just shall live by faith. So the opposite of faith is fear, fear of how, is my, how are my children going to make it tomorrow how am i going to make it tomorrow things don't look right at work um project is not going well my family is suffering um you know pain in the body or something like that you're experiencing some kind of pain or you're experiencing um sickness or diseases and you begin to wonder what it's going to do to you or what's going to happen to my family. Financial crisis sometimes put us in a position where where we feel like what is going to happen when I pay my mortgage, when I'll be able to eat or will I be able to pay for my kids school or whatsoever it is in life. And you begin to just 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 be, you begin to just feel the the the. Uh, you begin to feel the presence of fear. Oh my God. Oh my God. How am I going to do it? But I want to tell you this. Okay. I'm going to get to the point. I want to tell you this. Fear is a liar. Just like the song said, fear is a liar. Look, 
No, no, no. As long as Jesus is on his throne, there's nothing for you to worry about. Okay, as long as Jesus is on his throne, there's nothing for you to be afraid of. Remember what it says in Psalm 27 says, the Lord is my light and my salvation. Whom shall I fear? You could just change that and say, the Lord is my light and my salvation. What should I be afraid of? What, what, what should I be afraid of? The problems in my life, they're nothing. They're, they're pretty much nothing. You know why they're nothing? Because Jesus is on his throne and Jesus already given us and equipped us with everything we need in order to overcome the troubles and the trials that we currently, you know, we're currently in or are dealing with every day. I want you to, um, I want you to think about what, um, whatever trouble um, or whatever problem you're currently in or whatever's troubling your spirit. I want you to take a moment and think about it, okay? Now, while you think about it, I want you to see that problem as a way for you to trust God, okay? That situation you're in, it's not here to kill you. I want you to know that. That problem that you're currently facing is not here to kill you, no, it's not here to destroy you. No, God will never, never allow you to go through it. Then if he knows that it's going to kill you, he will not let you, he will not let you go through it. It's because he knows that you can handle it and that that situation will push you to seek him more. Okay. Sometimes when we're too comfortable, we don't, we don't desire to to look for him, you know, to cry out to him. We just decide to do our own thing or whatever. But honestly, the situation that you are in, you're put in there for a reason because he know what he put inside of you. He know that you're able to conquer it. He wants you to cry out to him if you having trouble conquering that situation, okay? is there to draw you closer to God. It's there for you to exercise your faith. That's how his name is glorified. Don't think your situation that you're in is your enemy. It's not your enemy. The problem that you are currently facing, that you're currently in, it's not your enemy. Okay? It is actually good to help you see God better. It's there to help you, to help you desire you know, more of God. So thank God for that, right? Because it's good to desire God. It's good to seek him. It's good to, to, um, it's good to call out to God. And, and when you, it's, trust me, <laughs> sometimes in my house, I'm like, oh my God, the children are driving me crazy. I'm like, Jesus, you know, what does that do when they drive me crazy? It pushes me to call Jesus. And Hey, that name is above every name, the name of Jesus. And he hears you. Thank God. He hears you when you call out to him. Remember, like I said, he equipped you to overcome any situation in life. Okay, so do not let fear corner you. No, 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 no. Do not let fear corner you. Overcome fear with the very promises of God, overcome fear with the mindset, believing that situation you're in is not here to kill you. It's not here to destroy you, but it's here to help you grow in God, you know, to help your faith grow in who he is. Okay. So that his name can be glorified. Praise God. All right. So whenever you're going through the toughest moment in life, and things, you know, trouble here and there. It looks like it's never going to end. There's always something. Oh, this, this, this big mountain in front of you, you know, this obstacle that seems to be just standing, just standing there, you know, it's very stubborn. It's not going anywhere. Guess what? That should give you. I'm sorry. May the Lord bless you. Hi, people of God. I'm sorry. I completely forgot to put my phone on airplane mode, um, I got a call that come in that came in from my wonderful sister in Christ. I love her so much. I thank God for her in my life. So she didn't know I was doing the videos, and she decided to give me a call to check on me as usual. Uh, like I said, man, I thank God for my sister. 
Oh, God knows that you need someone in your life. And he always, always put the right person um, in your path. All right. So, um, again, what we're talking about is is fear. And I just want you to know that the situation is the obstacle that's there, that's redundant, that's not going anywhere. Hey, I want you to know it's there for you to press on. Okay. It's there for you to press on and not for you, and not to give up. Okay. No matter what troubles, calamity, issues, problems, whatever it is, because there's always something and it's going to always, I'm, I want to let you know that in advance too. There's always going to be something. Okay. So I want you to understand that we are all um, in school. We are all in school learning from God. So don't think the test is not coming. Hey, the test has to come to see how much you have learned in your situation. If he said Jesus is Lord, hey, there's a test that's going to come to test to see if it's if you are saying that by faith. You know, if you're really, if you're really applying, if you will, if you will really apply what you have learned in order to pass that test. And um, I just want you to see the situation you're in. It's not your enemy. The situation is not your enemy. Okay. Um, it's there to help you grow in faith. So praise and glory to God in the highest. All right. I took my reading today from I did my reading I'm sorry I did my reading today from Isaiah 43 take the moment to read that chapter Isaiah 43 he said um verse I'm just go ahead and and, and read from a um, verse from verse 1 through 3 okay I'm gonna read verse 1 through 3 for you it says but now oh Jacob listen to the Lord who created you. Okay. Um, oh Israel, the one who formed you says, do not be afraid, but I have ransomed you. I have called you by name. That's the best thing ever. That God called you by no by name. He knows your name. God knows your name. He knows your situation. Do not be afraid. He called you. He created you. Okay. So just to keep going, he said, I have called you by name. You are mine. God is telling you today that you are his. He called you. You are his. Okay. He created you. He formed you. He knows everything about you. So don't be afraid. Let's go to verse two. He said, when you go through deep waters, he said, I will be with you. God is telling you that today. So when you go to deep waters, he's there. He's going to be with you there. Okay. Whatever situation that you're in, he's there. He'll go with you. Glory to God in the highest. He said, when you go through rivers of difficulty, that's what it is. We have a lot of difficulties in our lives. And trials, tribulations, problems here and there. If it's not this, it's that. At work, at home. You know, with our children, and our marriage, and our finances, and our career, you know, uh, with our health, you know, it's just, hey, but what he said he's going to do, he said he will do it. He said, when you go through that time, the this these tough times, he said, you will not drown. Okay, that's verse two. The Lord is telling you, you will not drown. Okay, so I want you to know that. And he also mentioned that he will be with you. All right, so I'll continue to read. He said, when you walk through the fire of oppression, you will not burn up. No, your situation will not burn you up. That hard time you're having, whether it's with someone at work or with someone in your life or whatever tough time that you are going through, it's not going to burn you up. You will not drown. Okay. The flames will not consume you. Verse 3. He said, For I am the Lord your God, the Holy One of Israel, your Savior. 
I gave Egypt as a ransom for your freedom. Praise God. I gave Ethiopia and Seba in your place. Praise God. We have all the good things in Christ. We know we are not alone. You, you are not alone in your situation. No, you're not. God is with you. He promised that he's with you in it. He's promised that you will not burn out. You will not burn down. And he promised that, um, glory to God, that you are his, okay? You're, you're his. So don't fear the situation you're in. Don't let that over consume you. Don't let fear consume you. Because God made a promise and he's going to keep it. Because that is the God we serve. Our God keeps his promise. So we give glory to him. Okay. He loves you. And just, just to go to that part, he says, verse five, he said, do not be afraid for I am with you. He said, do not be afraid. Don't be afraid. God is with you in whatever you're going through right now, right now. I don't, it don't matter what some people think, oh, this is too big for God. No, that's a lie. God is bigger than it. God is bigger than what you're going through. Okay. So I want you to say to yourself what God's word says about you. Okay. The word of God says, okay, it's in verse one. God's word says to you, he said, listen, but now, O Jacob, listen to the Lord who created you. He said, O Israel, the one who formed you, do not be afraid for I have ransomed you. So we have to say, what you have to say to yourself is that, you know what? God has ransomed me. That's what God's word says about you. That's what God's word says about me. He said, he has ransomed me. He has ransomed you. So why should I be afraid? Why should I worry about the situations that I'm currently in, they're here to help me, not to burn me. They're here to push me closer to God. So all the glory to, to the living God. I thank him for, for allowing us to go um, over Isaiah 43. I want you to take the time and meditate on it. May the glory of God cover you while you do that and give you the deepest understanding. Uh, through his spirit father i pray for everyone watching this video i pray lord jesus that they that 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 they are strengthened because we know strength does not come from anyone else or anywhere else but it comes from you lord i pray as you strengthen them to to press on Strengthen them, Lord Jesus Christ of Nazareth, to persevere. Strengthen them, Jesus Christ of Nazareth, to overcome the fear. That, that, that fear thing, I call it a thing, that fear problem. By faith, for them to overcome the situation they're in. Help them to remember that situation is not there to kill them. But that situation is there to help them grow more in you. Lord, I pray for each person watching this video. And they have a hearing heart. That they will take the moment to read Isaiah 43 and meditate on it just so they can hear you talk to them. About their situation. That you will not leave them. You are with them in their situation. And that the situation will not drown them. The situation will not um, burn them. Because of your faithful promises that you are with them. You love them. God, I pray for each person on who's watching this video. Wherever they are and whatever they're doing. Jesus, in whatever situation they're in. I pray for your mercy to accompany them, God. I pray that you will intervene, intervene in their situation, Jesus, so that they will come out victorious in Jesus' name. Remind them that they are in school and the test, Lord Jesus, will come over and over. But that, that, that your test, their, their testimony of what you've done for them in the past will help them to overcome this particular test here that they're in. In Jesus' mighty name, I pray for their soul, Lord Jesus, that they are blessed, their spirit, their mind, their families. In the name of Jesus Christ, um, their health, Lord Jesus, if it's their health, I pray for divine healing. 
because you are a healer by your stripes. I believe they are healed in the name of Jesus. I thank you, Lord, for your glory. Lord, shining for them in their career, your glory in their finances, your glory, Jesus Christ of Nazareth, shining for them, Lord, in every situation and in their homes in Jesus name. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. We pray in Jesus name. Amen. 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 All the glory to God. I pray that you are, I pray that you are blessed and um, remember to share this video with others. You know, some people need to hear this. So may the Lord bless you. And if you have any comment, please, please write it down and don't forget to visit righteousattitude.com and don't forget to subscribe. All right, next time we got more videos coming and may the Lord bless you. Have a good one.